Just hours away from starting week two of a historic statewide teacher walkout. Fox 23 has live team coverage on what you can expect come Monday. I'm Lynn Casey. Here's the latest. Two bills are sitting on Governor Mary Fallon's desk that would bring in $44 million in revenue for education. That falls far short of the $200 million the Oklahoma Education Association says it needs to end the walkout. Now tomorrow, hundreds of teachers will return to the Capitol to protest as lawmakers discuss more revenue ra raising measures. New at 10, Fox 23 Sharon Phillips is reporting live on the effort to get students to the Capitol tomorrow. Sharon. Yes, Lynn, that's exactly right. The hope here is that when lawmakers see the faces of those children, they will step up and restore the money that's been taken from them. Sam Gertner is a sixth grader at Centennial Middle School in Broken Arrow. He spent Sunday afternoon making a sign for his favorite teacher to wave at the Capitol Monday morning. I made a sign for uh, my third grade teacher, Miss Williams. She was really good and we didn't have the best class, so and she was able to make it through that year. He says it's tough being in public school right now with all of the recent cuts to education, and he wants to show his support of the teachers who have guided him this far. Monday morning, Broken Arrow students will be gathering on the second floor of the Capitol. They will be wearing their school colors and will be bringing signs with their favorite teacher's name on it to show them support. And I think that will be very powerful for the lawmakers and legislature to see the faces mm -hmm. of the students that they are fighting for to get this funding. Sam's mother, Robin Gertner, is a teacher at Country Lane Intermediate. She spent several days last week at the Capitol lobbying lawmakers to increase education funding. This legislature, they have the opportunity to be the heroes and to get this education funding problem in Oklahoma turned around. Mm -hmm. Robin says saying no to any child is difficult, but saying no to hundreds of Oklahoma's children face to face is another story. And along with those Broken Hour students, we're told there will be several other groups of students going as well. Reporting live, covering news that matters, I'm Sharon Phillips, Fox 23 News.